Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. No. But I don't have any privacy here with Betty Joe and Bobby Joe running in and out of my room borrowing my things. Well, if that's your trouble, I'll just stop the girls from borrowing. Oh, no, don't do that. Then I won't know where anything is. <laughs> You'd be in a fine fix in your own apartment. But, Mom... The answer is still no. <laughs> but think of all the time I waste every day going back and forth to Pixley. Time that you could spend studying. Yes. And living here is ruining my social life. Yes, I know. All the eligible young men live in Pixley, and they don't like the idea of having to make two trips to the Shady Rest in order to take you out on a date. Oh, Mother, you're so smart. Well, not really. It could be figured out by any mother with a daughter who wants her own apartment, and the answer is still no. <laughs> Mom. That sloppy Billy Joe did. She left these hanging in the bathroom. And look at those. Well, that's just terrible. Tell your sister it isn't going to work. <laughs> I told you Mom was too smart for that. <laughs> I know how to convince Mom. Give her a success story. What do you mean? Tell her about Blanche Whitcomb. What about her? Tell Mom how Blanche's mother let her take an apartment on a six-week trial basis. And Blanche's mother's very strict. And what happened? Well, when the six weeks were up, she proved her mother could trust her. And Blanche is still happy in her own apartment. I've got to tell Mom. Oh, who's Blanche Whitcomb? Who knows? <laughs> and Blanche Whitcomb is still happy in her own apartment. Blanche Whitcomb. Who made her up, Bobby Joe or you? Bobby. <laughs> now, girls, let's understand one another. There's one subject that is not going to be discussed at the supper table. And I think we all know what it is, hmm? Okay, Mom. Yes, and that includes you. Betty Joe, help yourself to chicken and pass it, please. Bobby Joe, would you pass the potatoes, please? Just think, this chicken once had its very own coop. <laughs> well, we don't have to sit here in complete silence. There are plenty of subjects in the world to talk about. How's the chicken? Fine. It's good. good. <laughs> if we were Eskimos up in the Arctic Circle, we wouldn't be eating chicken. We'd be eating whale. Well, I don't know what brought that up, but I suppose it's true. Uh, anybody got anything to add about whale? <laughs> Jonah lived in a whale. Yes, he had his own room and lots of privacy, too. <laughs> All right, girls, that's seen nothing. Hi. Hi, Uncle Joe. Pass the chicken. Uncle Joe, you just had supper half an hour ago. I ain't eating because I'm hungry. I just came down to keep you company. <laughs> Billy Joe, I hope you turn out half as good a food as your ma when you've got your own... Uh, Uncle Joe. <laughs> We have entered Billy Joe's apartment through a chicken coop and a whale. 
So whatever you have in mind, forget it. Now, just a minute, Kate. I'm her uncle. I got a right to speak. All right, speak. <laughs> I meant Uncle Joe. Don't be proud. You got a daughter that doesn't want a sponge off of you for the rest of her life. <laughs> Billy Joe and I came from the same mold. I hadn't noticed the resemblance. I don't mean in looks. I mean in character. I made my own way in life from the time I was 16. Nobody mollycoddled me or took away my independence. I think Billy Joe ought to move out and have her own apartment. You do? I think you ought to move out and have your own apartment. What? Give up my independence? <laughs> Billy Joe, you listen to your mother and forget this nonsense about having your own apartment. <laughs> Billy Joe, having your own apartment means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, thank you, Mom. Girls, Mom said... Wait a minute. Mom hasn't said anything yet. Now, will you listen? Yes, ma'am. You may have your own apartment on one condition, that you find a nice, clean place owned by respectable, middle-aged folks that I approve of. Agreed? Oh, yes, Mom. You're a doll. Betty Jo, Bobby Jo, Mom said I could have my own apartment. Peter, I hate to tell you this, that girl won't be moving out of here very soon. She won't? If you'd stop and think about Pixley for a minute, there isn't a single solitary apartment in the whole town. What do you know about that? <laughs> isn't that a joke on me? <laughs> Mom! Mom! I found it! I found it! You found what? Just what I've been looking for. There's an ad right here in the Pixley Times Picayune. Isn't it marvelous? Isn't what marvelous? The news. I found my apartment. Oh. <laughs> Mom, one apartment, completely furnished, including utilities. Well, it's probably very expensive. <laughs> only $18 a month. Where's the edge of town? Mom, it's only two blocks from the secretarial school, and it's near the library and stores. Well, $18 is reasonable if you've got it. Oh, that's no problem. Even if I don't get a part-time job right away, my allowance will cover the first month. Oh, any young lady who is old enough and independent enough to have her own apartment doesn't get an allowance. Then I can manage without it. I'm sure to get work. And my dates will take me to dinner. And if I do have to eat home once in a while, groceries are real cheap. <laughs> and isn't it funny how complicated we grown-ups make life? <laughs> And pack. In just a moment, young lady. You have forgotten that important condition. I have to approve the apartment. Oh, you'll approve. Look who placed the ad. A friend of yours. Mrs. Martha Griffin. You have to admit that she's respectable. Yeah, but the Martha Griffin I know doesn't have an apartment to rent. All she has is a room over the garage where her daughter Agatha lives. Agatha got married. <laughs> Martha Griffin, how could you do this to me? Just think, Betty Jo, our sister's independent. Yeah. Yes, I'm independent. You've got your very own apartment over a garage. How romantic. I'm going to be so happy. Well... Getting your own apartment is certainly a happy occasion. <laughs> Mom, you just don't understand. Billy Joe's leaving us after 20 years. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I've known her a little longer than both of you. <laughs> Y'all packed? Yes, Mother. Well, you're all ready for the big adventure. Tomorrow you'll wake into the peace and quiet of your own apartment. I'll be fine, Mother. You don't have to worry. I'm not worried. I, I just think. No more fighting for the bathroom. No more hurrying to breakfast. No more listening to boring conversations. Well, there's no use fighting it, Mother. Sooner or later, every girl has to leave home. <laughs> well, let's get the bags down the train. You don't want to keep Floyd and Charlie waiting. Move now. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> 
can you live in the same house with such a miserable liar? <laughs> It certainly is noisy in here. It certainly is. I wish we had a nice, quiet place to study. You both have nice, quiet, private rooms. Mom, if you're so worried about Billy Joe, why don't you run over to Pixley and see her? Me worried? I'm not worried. Mom, it's perfectly normal that you'd be wondering how she is. She's been gone for three whole days. Yeah, but I'm not worried. Then we'll go. And we'll take these to eat on the train in case we get hungry. <laughs> yeah, girls, what about... Is that the train? Yeah. Oh, I hope the girls are on it. I'm anxious to hear how Billy Joe's doing. Oh, she'll be all right. <laughs> You know what I feel like? What? I feel like walnuts. Oh, well, you better feel like almonds because we're all out of walnuts. Well, we had a whole bag full of them this morning. It's that dang dog. Oh, no, Uncle Joe. Oh, he ate them all right. I can hear him crunch when he walks. It's Floyd. Hi, Floyd. Aren't the girls with you? Kate, the cannonball made it from Pixley to the hotel in 32 minutes. 32 minutes? What's wrong with Billy Joe? That Charlie. What an engineer. We were coming up two-mile grade going chugga chug chugga chug Billy chug. Joe's sick. Is she? Why, I just saw her with Betty Joe and Bobby Joe half hour ago, and she looked fine. Oh, Floyd, you just scared the life out of me. How about that? 32 minutes from Pixley. You walk all the way up here just to tell us that? My Grandma Olson made it in a wheelchair in 19 minutes. <laughs> no, I came up here to ask Kate a question. The girls want to know, is it all right if they have supper in Billy Joe's new apartment? What'll I tell them? Well, I think it'd be very nice. Only tell them to get home early. Okay, Kate. I bet we make it back in 31. Girls, if you only knew what an independent feeling you have when you're independent. I can't describe it. It's just, well, you're just so full of independence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh, gosh. Just think, you're your own boss. There's nobody to make you pick up your things or tell you what to eat or when to eat. Yeah, well, you can eat any time you want. When shall we eat? Is anybody hungry? I am. So am I. Then we'll eat. Well, what are we having? Something Mom would never serve us. Like what? Frankfurters and beans. <laughs> Great. Hey, I'll set the table. Where is the table? No problem. I'll get the table and you girls get the chairs. We're short, one chair. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> need a pot for the beans. Oh, dear, there's no pot. No pot? How will you fix dinner if there's no pot? You see, girls, that's the difference between us. You're still living at home, so a little thing like this throws you into a panic. But I'm free and independent. And when you're independent, you can always think of ways. Hurry up, Kate. You're holding up the girls' dinner. What are they having? Some fancy, I'll tell Yeah, frankfurters and beans. <laughs> but I never let them have... <laughs> That's why she wants to be independent. I got another message from the girls. Another message? I expected them home on this run. They want to know if they can stay all night in Billy Joe's new apartment. Absolutely not. Oh, it's only for one night, Kate. No. Kate, don't you remember way back when you were a young girl? <laughs> it wasn't that way back. Didn't your mother ever let you stay all night with your girlfriends? 
You had a lot of fun. Well, uh... pick him up in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Joe. All right, let me get this straight. Betty Joe sent you all the way in here to pick up the dog and take him to Pixley so that he can approve Billy Joe's new apartment. That's what she said. <laughs> and I sure hope this is the last trip because the cannonball's almost out of wood. <laughs> All right, boy, go with Floyd. <laughs> and when you get to Pixley, be sure and tell the girls you like the new apartment so we can all get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Floyd. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Welcome home. How was Billy Joe? Just fine. Oh, good. What's for supper? Ugh. Leg of lamb. And what is so ick about leg of lamb? Do you know what Billy Joe's having tonight? Liverwurst omelet. <laughs> Goodness. Last night, frankfurters and beans. Tonight, liverwurst omelet. She's not only living independently, she's living dangerously. Hi, Mom. Hello, sweetie. Leg of lamb. Hold it, hold it. Your mother has had her quota of it for the day. Mom, <laughs> Billy Joe's. I know. Liverwurst omelet. And that's only the entree. You'll never guess what she's having for dessert. Kumquat stuffed with peanut butter. <laughs> you told her. <laughs> Mom, when can we get our own apartments? Girl. We're only thinking of you. If we were more independent, you'd have a lot less work. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Billy Joe. Hi, Billy Hi. Joe, how are you? Fine. Still at it? My dinner's already made. Well, uh, yuck, doesn't cook as fast as liverwurst. <laughs> oh, while I'm here, Mom, I brought something for you. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have. <laughs> now, Mom, there's really no need to hurry. I won't need any of this laundry until tomorrow night. <laughs> Aren't there any, uh... Laundries in Pixley? But they charge $4. Oh, I see. And when you're independent, that isn't in your budget. That's right, Mom. Uh, how much is left in your budget? Oh, $1.50. Oh, isn't that strange? That's exactly what I'm going to charge you for doing your laundry. <laughs> but gee, Mom, I was saving that $1.50 to have my hair done. Well, that's one of those tough decisions we independent women have to make. Oh, well, after all, there are only a few pieces. I guess I can rinse them out myself. <laughs> See you. Mom, when we get as old as Billy Joe, we won't have to get our own apartments, will we? <laughs> Going, Kate. Uh, into Pixley, do some shopping. With a bucket and a broom? <laughs> well, uh, you know how those bargain sales are. Sometimes you have to fight your way through the crowd. <laughs> I'll bet you they're lined up all the way to Billy Joe's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her I miss her, will you? Well, I won't be seeing her. I'm just gonna clean up her apartment while she's at secretarial school. You wanna come along? Uh, no, thanks. I'll handle things here at the hotel. <laughs> but there's nothing to do here. Oh, yes, there is. I'm so glad you dropped in, Kate. I've been wanting to tell you what a lovely young lady Billy Joe grew up to be. And so quiet. Thank you. Yes, well, she wanted to be on her own, so I just pushed her out of the nest. Yes, so I can see. Well, when you finish cleaning the nest, I just pull the door closed. <laughs> Thank you, Martin.
Independence Day is July the 4th, and if I'm real lucky, I may get it cleaned up by then. donated all these groceries to Billy Joe. Well, wasn't that sweet of him? Where will we put these? Oh, uh, right over there will be fine. Well, it sure pays to be independent. Everybody chips in and helps you. <laughs> Come on, Floyd, we gotta get back on the train. Uh, do you mind holding up the cannonball for a few minutes? I'll be right with you. Why, sure, Kate. <laughs> Spotless. Oh, it's simple when you got a system. I should teach it to me. Uh, look, uh, Charlie and Floyd brought you these from Sam Drucker. And I brought you that roast. What's wrong? Mom, I appreciate all this, but I'm trying to be independent. <laughs> Try it. It works just fine now. Oh, Thanks good. very much. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I could hear that water pipe knocking and banging clear over to my place. If there's anything I can't stand, it's unnecessary noise. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Oh, my, no. Two weeks you've been here, I wouldn't even know you're living here. Well, anything else, just let me know. Thank you. Here. <laughs> Joel. Mom. Well, honey. <laughs> Mom, can I have my room back? Well, of course, but what happened to the apartment? I moved out, but not because I got homesick. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine that, Mrs. Griffin being so fussy over a little noise. A little noise? Just the other day, she was telling me how nice and quiet you... But that doesn't matter. Girl, your sister's back. Oh, 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 Betty Joe, where's Uncle Joe? I want to tell him about Billy. At the band rehearsal. He and the boys are over at the Pixley Auditorium. Uh. But that's being painted. You should have been there, Kate. We had the best rehearsal we ever had. Well, I've often said, nothing improves band music like the smell of fresh paint. Well, the auditorium was closed. Billy Joe found us a better place. Upstairs over a garage? Yep. <laughs> you did a fine night's work, boys, and we all thank you. <laughs> Including him. <laughs>
junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.